you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna talk about this, y'all. Let me see if you can see it. It says uh in it's cause the light, man. I got the I got the natural light. I got the blinds open right now, so it's hard to it's hard to see. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about this, y'all. Um, once again, this is not medical advice. This is for educational purposes only. I'm not held responsible for what you do with your lab rat and how you use this information, you guys. I'm simply putting it out here because people are gonna do it. There's not a lot of information out here. It's just a lot of bullshit. A lot of people trying to promote and get their send their affiliate code out there, you guys. Um, I'm not getting any of that. I'm not doing no affiliation, affiliate, affiliate codes. I'm not doing no promo codes, nothing like that, you guys. This is just an honest, genuine, true uh, uh, experience with this, you guys. So, my lab rats. Um, I plan to do maybe two, maybe three more cycles, you guys. So, um, total of four probably a total of three or four cycles I am seeing some great results I saw some great results with this previous cycle that I just did you guys I only did it for about eight weeks eight to ten weeks and um, this is what I use for PCT just in clomiphene just the clomiphene citrate um, the reason why I'm only using that is because um, everything else like clomid and Novadex and um, the other stuff they all came with some crazy nasty side effects like Clomid came with eye floaters permanent eye floaters possible like you know like this just uh, I don't want that you guys I don't want to affect anything like that and with all the research within Clomiphene this is essentially just sim this is literally the agent that works in Clomid isolated from the the other um, nasty particle inside of Clomiphene um, Clomid so clomid consists of two different chemicals inside of it, right? So in cl in clomiphene is is isolating the second negative effect causing um, chemical, and this is all good, all good in this right here, you guys. So apparently this is really strong. And once again, you guys, if you're gonna do this, I highly encourage you to get your bloods. I didn't do it. Reason why I didn't get my bloods is because I was very confident in my um, my health because I've been on this health journey for three years. Three years, you guys. That's another reason why um, this isn't for everyone. If you're a young person, highly, highly suggest you just get into the gym, you guys. Get into the gym. I'm 27, so I'm pretty much done growing. You know, but the male body doesn't stop growing. Your brain doesn't stop growing and stuff like that until like you're 25. I honestly believe that we're still growing for a while, but it's, it's physically, physically wise, men, you should wait until you're about 25. Men, we grow for a while. We grow for a while, you guys. And so um, I know when I was in my earlier 20s, I could just sense my muscles being ready to just get just big man the testosterone was just surging through me so one of the reasons why you should take a PCT and clomiphene right I took mine while I was on cycle um, because I wanted to fight the suppression even though um, rad and osterine say that there's minimal suppression I just didn't want to take any chances with it I didn't want to you know feel any crazy ways also what clomiphene does is it spikes your testosterone um, building um, and so you'll be able to keep the gains that you make when you're off of it. And I gotta tell you, man, I've I've gained I've gained quite a bit, um, and it's it's nice. Um, if I could be quite honest with you guys, I'm still because since I'm still on my PCT, I got about two and a half more weeks of PCT to do. I think that I've I'm in this cycle, I might have gained maybe I don't know maybe like anywhere between five to ten pounds of pure muscle I don't, I don't the reason why it's hard for me to tell is because when I started off I was 189 pounds the highest weight that I got to in this cycle was 220 never have I ever touched 220 I don't ever remember reaching 220 ever you guys I gained 30 pounds while I was on cycle I was also taking MK677 Ibutamore so my appetite just went through the roof and i smoke a lot of gas you guys so like <laughs> yo the appetite that ibutamorin mk677 gives to you blows 
marijuana out the park, you guys. It it really does, man. Like I, I was I was so hungry eating so much and it might have been water weight, but after I got off a of cycle, you guys, I j I've just been sh I've just been every day I've just been shedding weight. Shedding weight. And it's also because not just because of this, you guys. And so I want you to I really need you guys to understand this. When you're taking a cycle this shit is literally just a supplement. It's like taking protein powder or creatine, except the results are magnified times 10 times 20. Now, that might sound crazy, but think about it. Think about how long it takes to build muscle or to just see something, you guys. It's really not that fast. It's really not that fast. You're not going to bulk up like Arnold Schwarzenegger or anything like that, you guys. Um, one of the reasons why I chose to do this kind of stuff was because... Um, I wanted I needed to, I needed to jump start like I was already seeing results I was already seeing good, but I just wanted to see more I wanted it to be faster and so I did so much research on it I like to drink every now and then and I wanted to protect my liver I got a bunch of supplements in the back I'll make a separate video about that you guys to show you all the supplements I took this is is not a complete conducive the guide to be completely safe when you're taking this because I'm still learning stuff the more that I get on my reddit get on reddit and look up this kind of things you guys the more that I learn about it and you will find some great information doing your research and so there are probably about four or five other supplements that I would probably add to this little inventory that I have in order to completely completely be safe you guys but I did a tremendous amount of research so I'll make a separate video on all of the freaking supplements I took to protect my liver, to protect my cholesterol, to protect my, you know, everything that I have inside of me, and, um, so let's, uh, let's I guess let's get into the Encoma Fendi, though, you guys, this made me feel really good, it made me feel really good, man, I'm not gonna lie, I, like, it, it just feels good, when you take it, it doesn't taste good, obviously, but when it goes down and when it sits in your stomach, you want to eat something or at least make sure you're going to eat something within the five minutes that you consume it. It's, uh, you just feel good, man. It's like it just feels right. Like it makes me feel, I'm not going to say it makes me feel like a beast, but it makes me feel grounded. Like it, it, this is, this is some great stuff, you guys. I'm not, like, I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I've not once felt suppression when I was on cycle. I'm going to PCT with this exclusively for um, four weeks. Um, I'm currently a one week and, and a half within my PCT. And it is from Receptor Kim. Um, but if you want more information about that, you need to message me on Instagram. I'm not going to put any more out here, you guys, because I don't really know what the guidelines are as far as talking about this kind of stuff. There's not a lot of YouTubers talking about it. Um, and I'll, uh, probably in another video, I'll tell you how I even came across it, but this stuff is legit, guys. This stuff is good, man. It's really good. This stuff is legit and it's good. So, um, this is a, a 30 milliliter bottle and each milliliter is 12.5 milligrams. So what I did when I was on cycle was I took an entire syringe full of it. And then now for my PCT, I was taking 12, I was taking a full syringe for the first week, but I decided to cut it down to half because, you know, um, the more testosterone you have, that also can get turned into estrogen, right? And so I, I didn't want that to happen. Since I'm not taking bloods, um, I feel pretty good. So I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna take a full syringe of it. I'm gonna just do half because apparently it's really strong. That's what a lot of people do. They recommend to just do half once you're off and so uh, that's just what I'm going to do um, I'm excited to just stop taking all this stuff all together and just truly cut naturally and just enjoy my body you guys I my results from this cycle was a little bit iffy it was kind of up and down I didn't I didn't know but now that I've I've shed like <laughs> I've shed 11 pounds of the 30 that I gained I think it was worth it man I think it was really worth it. I really do. Like, family notices my body. Girl notices my body. People notice my body. I notice my body. I feel my body. Things are just are just great, man. I'm not, I'm not even going to front with you guys. But once again, this is educational only. This is not medical advice. I'm not held responsible for anything y'all because do. And um, once again, if you have questions, man, reach out to me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. And then message me. And, um... You know, I'll uh, try to guide you as much as I can with that. But, you know, 
please be safe, man. I'm not like if you're if you're under 23, I'm not gonna talk to you about it because like I just I just don't think you should do this. I mean, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. If you are, you know, I'm not here. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your damn daddy. I just want you to be safe. You know what I'm saying? I just want us to be safe because I was looking for this information. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your body or whatever or with your lab rat. So you do what you do, man. But I'm not here responsible for this stuff, you guys. I'm just here to give you my experience and educational purposes only. Now I'm running. I keep running with the same shit, so I'm going to end this video, you guys, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe down below what you want to hear. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, man, and I'll see you guys in the next one.